Hello game devs, welcome back to another GDVOL for tutorial. So today um I'll be showing you how to create um a parallax in GDVOL 5. So let's have a preview of what this looks like. Um just in case you're new to GDVOL um or you're new to game making, um a parallax is um a camera effect or it is yeah it's a camera effect whereby the um background layer moves slower than the foreground layer. Here we go. So as you can see, our foreground layer, which is this layer, moves faster than our middle layer, and our middle layer moves faster than our background layer. And if you take note of this in our editor, um, you see they're all on the same point. But once um, we're previewing this, you get this. I'm showing our first layer on a second and our third layer. That's to show that this is faster than the middle layer, and the middle layer is faster than the last layer. So today, I'll be showing you how to create this a parallax in GDevelop 5. So close that, um, open GDevelop. Also, just in case you're new to GDevelop, GDevelop is, GDevelop is an easy to use game creator with no programming language to learn. So you don't need to know any code, you don't need to know to learn GDevelop or to make a really good game in GDevelop 5. Okay, so let's go on um, platformer. Select my platformer and that's loading. Okay, so this is what the platformer example started looks like in GDevelop 5. So for this, I'll just delete some objects. Oh, okay, the clouds, I don't need the clouds. Um, I'll delete that. I don't need the on screen controls. Here we go. I don't need that, and I think that's all for now. I don't need this. Okay, so also I need to get some the sounds out. Delete the sound. I don't want to interfere with this video. So delete that. We also have one here. The jump sound delete. And okay, we have one in our object, which is the coin sound. I don't need that. So delete that. Okay, so just open this all again. Okay, so now we need to add in our objects. Um, scroll to the bottom, add a new object. Let's add in a background object. Um, here we go. Background, add an animation, add. Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm using the sky for my background. You can get this. Um, you can get parallax. Um, layers online. I think you can get some. Um, okay, so I'll just position this into the scene. Um, add in my other objects. Um, add an animation. Add. Okay, so this would be our layer two. I'll rename this layer two. Apply. Um, add new objects. Sprites. Um, add an animation. Add. Um, okay, this would be our layer three, the clouds. Um, layer three. Apply. Um, add an animation. Sorry. Add new objects. Sprites. Add an animation. Add. Um, this would be our layer four. Okay, so layer four. Apply and for a last layer, sprites, um, objects, layer 5. Add an animation, add. Okay, so here we go. This is our layer 5. Apply. And let's get our grid out here. Show grid. Um, I just need to use this position this. My background layer. Okay. That's perfect. Now let's go to our... Um, layer um the layer editor um add a layer we need to get this layer would be named bg so i just created a new layer and i'll give this position my background objects on the layer bg now it's above every single thing on the scene that's because um in our layer it's above the gui and the base layer you need to take this below the gui and as you can see the coin or the gui is now above our background objects and you need to take this below our base layer now everything is above um, the base layer and we have our background color you can go um, below our background color okay so now let's pull in our second object which will be our layer 2 
There we go. Oh, um, we'll just position that here. Give that a little bit of stretching and okay, that's good to go. So let's go to our layer. Let's create a new layer. Arm um, layer two. Give this to our arm um, layer two object. Sorry about that. Layer two. Here we go. Now it's above um everything, just like our background layer. You need to do the same thing. A editor, you need to take it below the GUI and the base layer. You don't want to take it below the background because it takes it on um, below or behind um our background object. So it should be above our background layer, a BG layer. So now let's go three or our layer three, which is the cloud. Position that here and here. Okay, so layer, let's create a new layer, add a layer, this would be layer 3, position this on the layer 3, and, okay, that's above everything, where we don't want a cloud, we don't want it above the GUI, but we want it above every single thing, so position that, that directly below um, our GUI layer. Okay, so next up we have our layer 4, right here, position that, and right here. Okay, so let's add a layer. Um, add a layer. This would be layer four. Close that layer and four. Okay. Also, you need to reposition that. So, take that below the GUI and the layer three and the base layer and the layer two. So that's now behind all the two objects. Okay. Now for layer five objects, um, put this into the scene. Um. Position that right here and scale that here this way. Okay, so let's create a layer. Um, add a new layer. This will be our layer five, level four, and also give this to the object on the layer five. Now it's above everything, just like we did for the rest. You need to take this below all the way down, not um below your BG layer. Okay, so now we have everything positioned properly. Let's preview this to check it out. Okay, so here we go. Everything's good. Now let's go to our events, our new scene events. We'll create a group right here. Add a new group. Um, I'll name this Parallax. Add a subcondition. Um, add condition or we don't need the condition so just come to action um camera okay before we do this let's delete the original camera action I'll just delete this and let's go back so here we go camera okay so um camera send the X position um sign set to value player hit box so we need our base layer to um to be centered on our um our camera sorry we need our base layer to be centered on our player hit box okay so that's what this event does now add an action um on camera okay so center x position sign set to value player hit box play hit box dot x open and close the bracket now to obtain a parallax you need to multiply the um value or you need to multiply this on which is our play hits box x position by a specific value which um you have to go on with different values to obtain this um various speed for our um for layers so for this which is the layer so this would be for layer two let's go with um an asterisk that multiplies it by the value of 0 0.95 and layer and that will be our layer two okay so preview this As you can see, our layer two is moving. Um, yeah, that's moving, but you won't notice it because um, we don't have the same effects going on on our foreground layer. On no, our sorry, on our background layer. So close that. Um, add an action. Um, same here. Camera. Center X position sign set to value player. Hit box play hit box dot X. There we go. Now let's multiply this with a value. We need to give this a value lower than the previous value, which will be let's go with um 
0 0.80 okay now this this is oh, I'm sorry set the layer layer 3 okay so now add an action that's for our cloud layer so let's go camera now for our layer for camera center x position value player hitbox play hitbox dot x open close the bracket asterisk which multiplies it by the value of zero point um fifty that yeah that's um a value which is lower than the previous value so set to layer layer four okay so now the higher the layer the faster the higher the value the faster it moves um that's for layer four now for our layer five um camera camera center x position set to okay they can know um well you don't have to use this for only the x um position because that's what we have in Chival. That's the example we have in Chival. You can use the center camera for this also. So value player play hitbox dot x open close the bracket. Now let's give this a value lower than the previous. Let's go with um twenty five zero point twenty five. Layers um layer five okay preview so there we go um as you can see it works now our parallax um moves properly now and that's that's good um okay just one more thing just in case you have a background which has um uh, maybe um some um designs and maybe some features all over you can just add it to your parallax um let's do that camera so camera center x position set to value player okay so play hitbox dot x open close the bracket and let's multiply this with a value of 0 0.10 layer bg okay so preview this Now you won't notice um a background or background moving because um it's kind of the same color and it's on the X position so you won't see it. Okay, so as you can see everything is on the same line now. This is this is the best way to know if you have a parallax going on or not. So now everything is on the same line right here, but once we move a bit, as you can see it changes the position. If this was not a parallax, um every layer would be on the same um line as you can see now this is to show that our front layer which is our four layer moves faster than our middle layer and our middle layer moves faster than our background layer which um officially is a parallax um in Chitvolve. okay so that's how to create a parallax okay we have something here now you can choose to extend this um as you can see this is where it stopped you can just extend this by copying this and pasting it all over okay let's do that right here so layer 3 I'll just copy that paste here we go now I'll lock the layer before that I'll just paste that one more time okay, let me just trip this out um, okay so here we go position this right here and one more fine paste right here okay so now for layer 2 copy that paste right here and paste right here okay so next let's lock that we you need to lock your layer um in order to put the layer behind it so copy that you can unlock your layer by in the instance manager here we go so this is the lock you can just select this and unlock your layer okay so now let's select our next layer copy layer 4 paste place it right here and once more right here okay so lock your layer 4 and copy your layer 5 paste that Um, that's not in the right position for some reason. Okay, so that's perfect now. And so that's all layer five there, and paste this and all layer five. Okay, so preview this now. This would go on for some time. It will go on forever because 
um, it has a specific limit so if you want this to keep on going you just keep on adding the objects over and over again okay so there we go um it keeps on moving our foreground layers so faster than our middle layer and our middle layer is faster than our background layer okay so that's how to create a parallax ang develop 5 i will make this project folder available to download the link would be in the description of this video um it would also come with this um really good looking um parallax okay so close that and so that's how it's done. Thanks.